This is the story of Buddy Wilcox, the human predator. The story of this character takes place in the comic books. The year is 1958 in a forest of Fleener Creek. Buddy Wilcox is a child at this time, and his father brought him to the forest to partake in a hunt. His father wants him to experience hunting to become a man. Despite his intentions, Buddy's father was also physically and psychologically abusive. This is when Buddy wished for his father's death. Later that night, his father hears a noise and goes to investigate, but gets killed by a predator. Thirty years later, Buddy has a family of his own. More caring than his father ever was, Buddy shows great affection and patience towards his children. We are then introduced to Sheriff Kelly, who still holds a grudge towards four serial killers that were not found guilty upon murdering 22 men, women, and children. One specific killer named James McCutcheon is the main killer she's watching. James is interrogated by the feds and then taken to the woods to find the body of an agent he killed. A shootout occurs between the feds and local police and the killers escape. As the remaining killers make their way into the forest, they kill an innocent man and then the predator appears and kills two of the men. But James escapes and runs into Sheriff Kelly. She lets him go, not knowing what happened, but then comes across the murder scene. Then James is taken into custody as a predator tracks him down. Later that night, a man named Rod is talking to his wife, who he assumes is having an affair with Buddy. Then, as he gets angry, he chases her outside, only to get his arm sliced off, and then his chest gets blasted by the shoulder cannon. His head then gets ripped off by the predator. At this point, James is starting to become mentally unstable due to seeing all the blood at the murder scene. He starts to see the predator as a father figure, and vows to kill more people to prove himself worthy of being at the predator's side. The next morning, Buddy is then taken to the police station under suspicion that he had something to do with Rod's death. But Buddy then tells Sheriff Kelly the story of how his father was killed by a predator. He explains the story how a predator spared him while it killed his father right in front of him. He admits he did wish for his father's death, but he did not kill Rod. The predator then crashes into the police station and immediately attacks. In doing so, he also frees James from his cell and he escapes into the woods. The predator then leaves this area in pursuit of James. Sheriff Kelly then decides to deal with the situation by herself, so she arms herself and heads into the woods as well. Meanwhile, Buddy is seen preparing for his final battle with a predator that killed his father. It turns out he crafted his own predator armor, helmet, and wrist blades. Later on, he meets up with a predator in the woods, and then the hunter pulls out the skull of Buddy's father. This enrages him to attack the predator. They have a battle but Buddy is overpowered, but continues to fight on. The Predator injures Buddy twice with the wrist blades and a kick, but then the Predator throws Buddy a sword, possibly to give him a fighting chance, or to allow himself to be killed. Buddy then cuts off the Predator's arm and stabs him in the chest. He decides to not kill the Predator, but instead runs to save Sheriff Kelly, who is getting beaten up by James. As the Predator's ship passed by above, Sheriff Kelly stabs James with a knife, then James gets stabbed by Buddy and shot multiple times by Sheriff Kelly. The Predator's ship is then seen crashing into a nearby lake and not seen again. It most likely was too weak to pilot the ship and possibly drowned. The story ends with Buddy taking his father's skull to be buried, and along with that, he buries his Predator armor and weapons. His nightmare that lasted 30 years was now over. He can now return to his normal life. So that was the story of Buddy Wilcox, another human predator. Although his armor and weapons were not derived from Predator technology, he still tried to mimic the Predator. The story was about becoming a man through hunting and combat. And throughout his life, Buddy Wilcox was not a violent person. He only fought this Predator to finally end his nightmares. He felt responsible for his father's death in some way. Now there have been other human Predators in the comic books, and I've covered a few of them, so I'll link you to those videos if you want to see them. But I want to know, what did you think about this story? Do you like the idea of human predators? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see more videos from the Predator universe, then subscribe to my channel. And enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching, my name is Glow, and I'll see you in the next video. Predator wins.